This is just a super quick tip to show you how to find an image, save it, and then bring it into Design Space and create cut lines. So I need to go to Google. Actually, I can just type in what I want in my search bar. And I'm going to type in Schnauzer Silhouette. And these are what are displayed for me. Actually, was it a Schnauzer? Just a second. I'm sorry. Yes, it was. Okay, so I'll go forward again. Here's what I find. Now I'm going to click the word images over here. I'm going to find the one that I like. I'm going to choose this one because he really looks like a schnauzer. And see there are no watermarks on it and it doesn't seem to belong to someone. So I'm going to right click, save the image. I'm going to put that into my temp folder and let's see what they want to save it as. It's called standard schnauzer over here. So now I'm going to go into design space. I'm going to log in because I haven't used it yet today. I'm going to create a new project, upload an image. I'm going to choose basic upload because that's what you want for graphic files. If it was a cutting file, you would choose vector upload, but this is an image. So I'm going to choose basic upload, continue to step one. I'm going to browse for my image, which I had put in my temp folder and it was called standard schnauzer. I'm going to open that. I'm going to choose simple image. Continue to step two. And you see that whatever has this checkerboard pattern is already transparent. You don't need to worry about that. But whatever is white is not transparent. And if you leave this the way it is, I'm going to show you, it's going to create a cut line around the square. So if we click the eyeball, you'll see the square. Click it again and you'll see your image. So what you need to do is make sure you've got this brush selected and then click in the white area. Now when you click the eyeball, you have a cut line for the dog. So I'll click it again and I'll continue to step three. I'm just going to call this Schnauzer. I'm not going to preserve the original image for printing because that is how I would end up with a print and cut file. All I want is a cutting file in this case. Save the image. Now you're going to see it's right over here. So I'm going to click the check mark over here to put it on screen. I'm going to insert it and there's my dog. And I can now resize him and cut him and do whatever I like with him. So I hope that's been helpful. Thanks so much for watching.